Welcome back, everyone, to the last episode of Link Between Worlds My Am I Hunting Edition. In this part, we're actually headed to our last region. We have been to basically every single region in the game now. Uh, and as such, once we're in this world, we should never need to really leave it, because we can fly to wherever we need to go. Welcome back to Little Real Kingdom. Not far from here is a maze built to control the power of fire. You must find a way to control the flames. So, we have a few things we need to collect. One of which is this Mayamai, right on top of the area. I want to get it first just because, well, it, it was the easiest one to start with. Merge, we can walk our way back across, and we can start the lower side. Oh look, it's Turtle. There, Turtle has been thrown into the water. Thanks, oh that was horrifying, I couldn't roll over on my back, I hope my mom isn't too worried about me. Under this big rock is Maya Mai number 97, I believe. We have just three remaining here. So we are going to... We met these guys in the last part, or the part before that. Hello, random turtle. There it is, sitting in the water, nice and easy to find. 20 rupees and a Maya Mai. Uh, that looks like a blue rupee. It is. Alright. I was wondering, because if it was a purple rupee, it was a great thing for me to grab. Not the worst thing in the world, that it was blue. I'm going to swim down, and we're actually going to go up this way. Because we want to get out of the water. Because there is one more thing that we saw during our trek that we didn't do anything with, so that'll be what we finish up with. Oh, uh, we need to get up there. Which, there is a nice platform right over here to do it. So, heading all the way to the far side, we get a heart and another Maya Mai, leaving us with literally just the one remaining. We charge all the way down here, and we find the last Maya Mai. You caught La I lost my mind. No more crying Maya Mai's. Woohoo. Yes, we have all 100 on us now. So, logically, we should go and see what the reward is, right? I mean, kinda. I personally, I want to break this one more thing first. So we're gonna take our bombs, and we'll throw them here and here. Since in the other world there was two caves, this world there's only the one it seems. Get our free heart, and... It's a fairy map. But that's everything. That is all of the Maya Mai's in the game. We'll head through this portal and... Yep, we are also back at the top. Was there even a second one here? Yes, okay. What's in this cave? I think it's just a heart piece, Not nothing really important. It's just not fire blocked. Oh, it's a gold ruby, an unbelievable amount of rubies. And you can see there is a fairy fountain to the right of us, but you need the tornado rod to get it. However, we have all the Mayamites, 100% of them. Let's fly back to our house. Really fired up about this. Well, that's good, that's good. Because we actually can do some fun things now. We have 1150 rupees. We're 50 rupees honestly short of what I want. Because uh, I'd love to have get, got one of the rods before we started this. The bee that we ran into, I guess, caused more issues than I expected. Bee and that like like. Those both took care of. Like junk. Hello. You need to be able to help you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And see, every 10 you run into. She will give something yours nicer. However, 
only things that are choosable are things that are yours. So we will eat bombs. So she can eat our bombs and in fact give us bigger bombs. Bombs are more powerful now. You can see they have a nice overworld sprite change. And it will keep going basically as long as you still have items to do it. Make something yours nicer. We'll make the sand rod nicer. This is the infinite um, survival. Uh, the infinite, like, lasting sand rod. It doesn't work with Ravio items because, well, they're Ravios, they're not yours. So we need to purchase more items to be able to continue with it. But she's going to keep accepting uh, up to one set further. Oh! No, she's, she'll accept them all. Alright. So we're going to sit here for this cutscene for a little bit. Because we do have one other thing she can upgrade for us that doesn't rely on the Ravio weapons, but it is for all 100 of the Mayamais. So they can all hop off, and you'll see they're slowly adding to the water. We're halfway there, there's going to be another one pops up to the top right of her head. And I, I have to sit through this so you guys get to sit through it. Sorry about that. But this is why I did it all at once. Because it, we have to sit through it once, and we'll be able to come back here whenever and upgrade our Mayamais. Sorry, upgrade our uh, weapons or items and that sort of thing. And plus, look at how happy she is while she's dancing. But there is one more thing I want to do in this part that's still not quite... Um, if you bring me your items, I'll give you a nice reward. Oh, yes, yeah, so nice. But I can't work my items on items you don't own. Nothing lent, only your true possessions. Oh... I was going to say, because she also has one more thing she can upgrade. However, it didn't let me until I've upgraded all the items, it looks like. Which is why I was like, oh, I was so sad that I don't have enough to purchase it. But, we're going to head up. No, you know what, we'll, we'll just go back to our house. We'll go through the portal there. So, going through the portal, and... You can see, I like the nice lantern on our side. We're actually going to head out, and fly up to Treacherous Tower. Treacherous Tower is a nice interesting one. It's the Tower of Hera. It is not, however, a dungeon. Well, boom boom, Sword Boy. Welcome to the Treacherous Tower. Pretty fit. You want to play a game? Only 100 rupees. But since your first time, stick to the beginners. It's five stages? Alright, we're doing five stages. Now, it, it might be a little early for us to try it. Oh, shoot a dude. Forgot to tell you. Returning alive is not guaranteed. Enjoy. Yes, it's a challenges area. But it's a perfect place to try out our new bombs. The only downside is. Well, we have a first. Well, we have our second level sword. Oh. And they aren't dropping hearts, so. Fortunately, yeah, the beginner course is ridiculously easy, uh, and we spent 100 rupees for it, so. Next. Did I miss one? No, I did miss one. Alright. Now the tough guys. Fortunately, you can just sort of push them at the wall and they'll jump to their doom. Um, so you never really actually have to hurt any of them. And we're on to level 5. And it's a boss. Like she said, our bombs are more powerful now. Ah! 
Unfortunately, yeah, we've taken enough damage. Fortunately, with fairies, we have two of them still. We should be able to handle this course. Uh, normally, I'd be doing this with the upgraded... Yeah, we were one hit away. I just, I was playing too much with bombs to kill him. So, we go from 1060 rupees to, because we've completed this course, you run around and collect them. So, from 1060 all the way up to, we've already passed 1260. There. We made 300 rupees for spending 100. So, it's, it's sort of a gamble. One minute and ten seconds. You can try the intermittent course if you want. Fifteen levels, lots of baddies, and a piece of heart waiting for you at the end. Yeah. So that is our next goal um, when we go after pieces of hearts. Though that is enough to make me want to delay the pieces of hearts till later. There's not much else that's stuff we want to work on. We actually don't have any fly points on the bottom two areas, so we'll have to swap between areas a bit more. But, with all of the Mai Mai's collected, with the Treacherous Tower's first level explored, we are ready to... Well, we're gonna head back to our place for a bit. Because with 1361 rupees, we can get one more item and upgrade it. It's unfortunate that there's only just one. Um, because it's what? Oh, look at that, a nice friendly bee. A warm welcome to you, Mr. Hero. Warm welcome. Well, I do enjoy myself the fire rod. We're gonna buy it. We have purchased the fire rod, meaning we can now upgrade the fire rod. It's one of those ones, the bombs are always my first one I go for, because bombs are always useful. There, that's what the uh, regular fire rod looks like. Not too, too interesting. However, yeah, see, you throw it, it's one spike, and it looks like it can even hurt you. I didn't see if it actually hurted me, it just looks like it. So, well, I can make something yours nicer. Upgrade my fire rod, please. And for the rest of the game, every time we get a new weapon, I am going to want to upgrade it. I think our next goal will be the Skull Woods, since we did just get the upgraded Fire Rod. Only work on items you own. So we saw originally that's what it used to be. Here's what the nice Fire Rod does. It's a much bigger and much longer flame, and costs the same amount so it becomes a lot easier to use for battle. But that is where I'm going to call it today. We have managed to collect every single Maya Mai in the game. And in the next part, well, I think it's time to start Skull Woods. Get that one done as well. Excuse me, I need this. Since we did use up one of our fairies, we can go in. We've got our three fairies now. We should be ready. Thank you all for watching, and have a great night.